Numerical Methods, Problem 11.17. Given the pair of nonlinear simultaneous equations f of xy equals 4 minus y minus 2x squared, g of xy equals 8 minus y squared minus 4x. For part 1, use the Excel solver to determine the two pairs of the values of x and y that satisfy these equations. So, for the first question, question A of 11.17, we have to use Excel to solve these two equations. So we take our equation F and we take our equation G and we type them into Excel here. We label them equation F of XY, equation G of XY. So that's just the label. Our actual equations go to the right over here where we do an equal sign and then we type in our equation but instead of putting in X and putting in Y we declare a spot in the Excel spreadsheet B3 and B2 B3 for Y and B2 for X which we put in the value of 0 for both as our starting guesses towards the correct numbers that solve our equation and so we go to the data tab in the Excel spreadsheet and then use the solver function which if you don't have the solver function you simply go to file and then to options and then to add-ins and then go to down here it should have the solver function if you are or it's here right now. If you didn't add it already, you can click go and add the solver function. I already added it, so it's right there. And we have our equation set up. So we simply click the solver. And then we set up our parameters. So our objective is this part of the Excel spreadsheet, column B4 which has our equation f of xy and we set that to the value of 0 and then we we'll also highlight our x and our y values of b2 and b3 for our variables that we want to change but we must also let the solver know that b5 or g of xy is also equal to 0 so we use the add button to add that information in and then we make sure we are on the nonlinear solver and we simply click solve and OK and then Excel solves the equations for us and we get 0.9999 and 2.000 or 1 and 2 for our X and Y which is exactly what we were looking for and now we can go back to MATLAB for the second part of the problem, part B, where we are part B using a range of initial guesses of x equal to negative 6 to 6 and y equals negative 6 to 6. Determine which initial guesses yield each of the solutions. So yet again we set up our equations our equation F I have here is U and our equation G I have here is V because we're going to do derivation by parts because we are going to solve this equation in MATLAB using the newton raphson method for a system of nonlinear equations so we take the derivative of both of our equations in, with respect to X and respect to Y And then, so if we scroll down here, we can see we have a range from negative 6 to 6 for both the x and the y values, just like the problem asked for. And then we have our, our newton raphson method down here, where we take our derivatives, multiply them, subtract them, then divide them 
for our x and our y values and we iterate through 23 times and this should bring us to our x and our y values that we were looking for that we found in Excel. So let's run it up and our graphs obviously going to be way off because some of the original guesses in between negative 6 and 6 are going to be horribly wrong but some are going to be very good as you can see here our X's and our Y's some are going far far away from where we want to be as our negative numbers are way off and our, our numbers close to zero are also way off but once we get to a guesses of two and three and so on closer to our actual guess and pass or past our actual guess we get closer and closer to the results that we want and you can see here we're already at the results that we want for X and Y after 23 iterations for what I believe is the guess of 2 and 2 and other guesses are also good but the further you the further your guess is away from your actual root, the worse you are going to be. In some cases, you're never going to converge. So, to simplify it, now that I've showed you from negative 6 to 6, let's just use a guess of 2 and 2. And as you can see, here's the graph of both equations. And here in green is our approximation to where we want to be, where our x's and y's are, e are equal to zero, where our equations are equal to zero. And our x and y here should be 1 and 2 for x is 1, y is 2. And as you can see, we converge to that quickly. We've already been at 1 and 2 for a while because 2 and 2 are a very good guess for this problem. And that's about it for this problem. 11.17 numerical methods.